to you. We give you thanks for this day because truly this is the day that you have made and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We ask Heavenly Father as we conduct business for the city that you allow your Holy Spirit to come and be with us and help us to conduct the business in a decent manner. And we ask your blessings for each council member and their families and for each of us. Be with us and bless us and continue to carry us on and we'll be careful to give your name the glory, honor, and praise for which you do. For it's in your son Jesus' name, and we all say amen. Amen. amen.
Let us stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Make a motion first, and then we can discuss them. I'll make a motion that we are stopping. Motion has been made and seconded. All in favor? Yes, you have to discuss. Tonight. Discussion. Yes, I have some discussion. Go ahead. Um, everybody have a minute. Um, page six, paragraph two. Page six, paragraph eight point. Paragraph six. But paragraph one. But it says council member. Mm -hmm. And it just says council member. So I think that should have been council member. Council member. You're saying you just want parentheses around there? Or you want to add it in there that I was 
you know, Councilman Wickham's talking. Yeah, because sometimes when you, when you don't <coughs> put it in for record, you know, punctuation and and writing sentences and stuff, that means a lot because sometimes when you read it, it might not sound like it do. When you read it, when you read it, it might sound different than what you hear on the recording. Because from uh, <coughs> All right, what do y'all want to do? A lot of times we might have to we might have to do that because it's been like several occasions where you know something was read and it and it mean it might mean to me like I'm trying to put somebody down but I'm not really trying to put nobody down but I wanted to, cl to clarify that it's it's not meant like that and so when you use the don't put the right. Uh, and I say, you know, you don't get it. I mean, you're not. You, you did I, say Mr. Commons and who? I was talking to Mr. Commons, Mr. Commons and Mr. Uh, Garvin. I can't his name. The other man that was with uh, Villa Jordan. Matt Please. Garvin. Matt Garvin. Okay, Matt Garvin. That's what I was talking to. I don't want to make it seem like I was talking to the council people or anybody in the audience. And on page 19, paragraph 2, <coughs> Councilman said, can you see Councilman Booker said? Okay. Um, I never did as a question. And see, so you got a period at the end, so that makes a difference. Well, you just kind of made like a comment. So a lot of time when you listen, we don't know if you're asking questions or making comments. So I just write them like I understand them all. Yeah, I, I know, but then it makes a difference, you know, when somebody else might be looking at probably I don't really see me and you got a different snap. Yeah, but you said council member with so Mr. Eagle and Mr. Disney don't know anything about it. I and didn't that's not answering. But see, question. I did not say that like that. What I said, I was asking them a question. Did they know anything about it? Because they was veteran okay, uh, council know. members and I wanted to know, did they know anything? Okay, well, that's it. not how I interpret it. See, people. that's what I'm saying. Y'all need to say I'm asking them a question. Well, we might need. We're going to well, start doing all this detail in minutes. Yeah, because, yeah, because see, see, see we get it off the paper, and then we get it, you know, from the recorder. And so that's what I am saying. All oh, y'all have a problem with interpretation. My interpretation means a lot. And see, from what that to me, that sounds like I'm trying to put them down. No, when no. I simply asked them a question, uh, and the question was asked. Uh, I, I want to I, it, well, this is a statement, but I asked a question. Are y'all agreeing to all these changes? I couldn't remember. If she said that, I don't have any problem with changing don't to do you and put a question mark at the end. Just I would agree with that. Mark. Okay. Yeah. Or rather than when she said, you may want to say council. Because what I was doing, I really wanted to know. I went, you know, just saying that I really wanted to know. They didn't know anything about it because I think I forgot what we was talking about, but I really wanted to know since they was the veteran council. So in other words, you asked the question. So I asked them a question. So I didn't so like tell it. Telling and asking, you know, make it clear. And maybe next time you should say I'd like to ask you a question so I'll get it clear on here. See, this is extremely hard to do. Okay, that's why it might be best if we do summary instead of trying to write what's all on this report. No, we can't do summary right now. <laughs> okay. I don't have any problem with changing, you know, like I said, change don't to do you and put a yeah. question mark at the end. Would that yeah, be because sufficient? I really was asking y'all a question. Yes, that's fine. And I said like I was doing Okay. Okay. And on page 25. And which paragraph? Um, to start with paragraph nine, let it go on. And so 
something in a, on there about our preacher said, and I don't remember saying, I know I didn't say anything about preacher. But I also want to say I made a statement, uh, but I did not cast a yes vote. And nowhere in the minutes did it say that I cast a, a yes vote when you're talking about paying those terms. Pardon that, you talking about on the uh, paragraph where it starts off counts me you said I have for a roll call vote? Is that the? Uh-huh. I'm going to have to dispute that. I do remember you saying yes. Okay. You saying I said yes. I did say yes, we need to pay our bills. But I didn't, I, I did not cast a yes vote though. And nowhere in the ministry says that I cast a yes vote. And I went to look, I went to the, went to look at that today, but uh, to uh, check the recorder, to listen to a recorder, to clarify that, and but the, the clerk was busy at the time, so I have to do it another day. You did say, you said, so I am saying yes for the 150,000? Yeah, I, 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 I said that, I said that, but it's nowhere in the minute that I said I cast the yes vote. I hear what you said. I am saying yes. Excuse me. She's talking, so they are talking. So please, audience, be quiet. Thank you. So, if you want to keep that in there, I would appreciate it that if you would add that state that what I said that I that I am saying that I made a statement, but I did not cast a yes vote, and that I did go to the city council. I mean, to the city hall today, and I want to listen at it to make to clarify that I didn't. And I, you know, I didn't, you didn't have time really to do it. Well, I real late so I can come in. I came in at 4.15. That was too late to listen to a two hour counseling. I didn't want the two hours. I just wanted but, um, that what was I in there. Exactly what I heard but I, I will, I will come down. But I can't add something to my minutes that was not said that night. Okay, page four. <laughs> well, it's not in your minutes. There's no way in the minutes that I but see. But I can't add anything. It's page it's not four. There. I mean, page 34. <laughs> just a word in that one, so I'm, I think I'm just going to skip that one and go to page 40. <coughs> I'd like to make a motion that was my correction. Okay. I, 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 I made the motion. Let me say I'll, I'll restate my motion to okay. uh, accept the minutes with the, with the corrections that okay. we just agreed to. All right. Thank you. And whoever seconded would have to agree to the same thing. Second motion. Motion has been made and second. Any further discussion? All right. Mr. Small was seconded the first right. time. And that's who it would have to be. Well, so. well, it don't matter. It's fine. He agrees. Motion has been made and seconded. All in favor, roll call. Aye. 
no, I cannot approve the minutes because I have not read them. And we got 95 sheets, and this is more like a, a transcript and minutes. We need to sit down and figure out how we can minimize these. These are too many, and it takes too long to sit down and read them. We need to come up with something to minimize them. This is too many minutes, and I haven't had time to read them, so I cannot approve them. Ah. Uh, uh. What was your take of what's passed? Motion carried. Let's get those signs. I'll make a motion that we adopt the uh, January 12th minutes at this time. Let me, let, let, let me sign I'm sorry, go ahead. Let's, I know we're at hasty, but uh, we've got a while yet. That's the next seven right, minutes. Right, we'll get to it. I, I've got it. And I've made the motion. That's my prerogative to do that. All right, but we'll just wait up and let me no. sign off on this council. We'll, we'll move them right along. You just got to be patient. Mm -hmm. Oh, may I say something? Oh, I was very sick when I was typing all these minutes. This is a lot of hard work. On the January 12th minutes, I did notice some um, some errors that I've picked up on my own and some help with some good friends. Um, on page 11, uh, Maybe you got one on page 17 too. Okay, what's that? Um, when we was talking about the uh, about the trash, about the people first. Which paragraph? Please. Paragraph. No. Paragraph 11. Um, council member Hooker said they pick up the bottom over there. I said they, they don't pick it up one day, they pick it up the next time. You say I left a sentence out? Mm -hmm. You said I left a sentence out? Yeah, well, you put, you put they pick up the bottom over there. And it should have been. I said they get pick up the next day. They pick up. If they don't pick up the trash one day, I said they get it. They need to get it the next day. Just 
Do you want that sin of sad again? Uh -huh. You yeah. want to send us out again? Mm -hmm. and they don't pick up one day. They <coughs> they, they, they take out. They do not pick up the Bible over there. And then that was in there. I was supposed to say they pick up the Bible. I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> but I said they pick up the trash. I do that they don't pick it up one day. They will pick it up the next day. They did pick up the bottom. What bottom was it there? Where that make any sense? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. We did not make any sense. Now, what she just said, mm -hmm. if they don't pick up. I mean, it's insignificant anyway because it wasn't emotional. Not, it's just, yeah. I mean, it's just. Yeah, so if I would just add it, add it in. That's what I would say. Right. Okay. Pick yeah. up the next day. I'll be in my motion again, once again, to uh, adopt the minutes with the corrections that we just made. Do I have a second? I'll second. Roll call. for the January 16th. I'll uh, motion that we accept the January 16th uh, minutes for the call meeting. I'll second. Discussion? <coughs> motion has been made and second. No discussion. Roll call. Training, we just got to find a way to have them minimized to a summer. Mm -hmm. That being said, I just like to add before we um, go into the um, old business, I'd like to bring to your attention, Council, the letter that we received regarding the audit. from the Department of Audits and Accounts, Nonprofit and Local Government Audits, to the Honorable Mayor and Members of Council, City of Gordon, regarding audit for the year ended September 30th, 2014. Honorable Mayor and Members of Council, your request for an extension to submit the above reference audit report has been approved. The due date for this report is September 30th, 2015. Please note, 
that this extension relates only to audit report submission to the Department of Audits and Accounts and does not change reporting responsibilities to other state or federal agencies. State law permits the state auditor to weigh the requirement for completion of the audit within 180 days of the fiscal year end if the audit is in the process of being conducted or will properly be conducted and if good cause is shown. However, no waiver may be granted for more than two successive years. Every effort should be made to file the required report within the 180-day deadline in future years. Please submit your audit report as soon as possible. If the report will be delayed past the extension date shown above, then please contact us by email or by telephone. Sincerely, Doug Perkle, Jr., CPA, CFE, Certified Forensic Audit, CGPF, the Director. Also, you will note in your package you have the energy excise tax receipt. We have a check from the commissioners that was received, I believe, to Yes, sir. In the amount of $29,819.82. And as of today, Deputy Clerk Halver has deposited this into the general fund. Also, you will see in your packet for the SPLOS 2007 description balance today for the uh, loan L14WJ. Uh, it says December 2014. It shows a balance on hand at $724,235.91. Uh, the G for loan was uh, paid uh, January 27 in the amount of 15 Hundred ninety one dollars thirty eight cents and uh, CDBG face, which we'll get to in the amount of nine hundred dollars. Just want to bring that to your attention. Okay, we will right along just to let you know that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. I want to take a moment <coughs> today in the interest in the interest of transparency and honesty. After my election as your mayor, I started an investigation to find out what the most pressing issues of Gordon were and was amazed to find the utter neglect and waste that was considered normal. I subsequently wrote a letter to the citizens of Gordon and tried to explain the problems I found. <coughs> Naturally, I would address these issues. The top of the list was the water system. As I stated one year ago, Mr. John Holland has now validated my statement endorsed by EPA. And it states, Mayor Whippaloo, January 25, 2015. Due to the recent EPD notice of violations NOV and substandard operations and management of the city's water system, I'm no longer comfortable verifying the city's monthly water report. He said in his 25 years of water utility management experience, he says he's yet to see a water system in such need of improvement and upgrades. It seems obvious to him the system has been neglected for years with no plans to improve. And he goes on further to state, we would be glad to help the city when it gets serious about improving its water system. Sincerely. John Holland, and you all have that letter. And I just like to say, unfortunately, for the citizens of 
Thornton, charges were brought against me for discrimination, thereby sabotaging all my efforts to fix the water problem. As I've stated, there are many more defects in the city that I and council aim to fix. But there are some who are determined to prevent the city from moving forward or exposing where the money is going. We'll move right along with the budget. Is Mr. Daniel Cummins here tonight? Would you please come? Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, just here to, I guess, um, report back and communicate uh, on what's uh, occurred since last week we all met together. Um, at the advice of, uh, of the attorney's office, uh, we you know, looked in again at uh, the requirements um, for uh, you know, advertising the budget and things like that. Um, and so what actually is on the agenda for today is something that uh, ran in the newspaper this past Thursday, which is the formal uh, presentation of the library fund and general fund budgets uh, to council from uh, the mayor's office. Uh, which is outlined in GMA requirements. And so it doesn't require any action, but what you have in your packages uh, is the general fund and library fund budgets, the ones that we discussed and had tentative approval on uh, several weeks ago. Um, and so I wanted to make you all aware of that. And uh, <coughs> certainly if you had any questions about that, I'd be happy to answer those as well. I believe the copies were provided, is that correct? Mm -hmm. They should be in there, that's correct. All of them are the same numbers that we talked about the last that's, time. That's exactly right. Word, word for word. Capital expenditure, they everything, everything as it was. And it has been made available for public review at City Hall as well. Basically, the reason we're doing that, that is a state law. Our uh, attorney pointed that out, you know, uh, even though he was interrupted, but it is a state law. That, then, that's correct. Uh, you know, this process. OSHA 36-81-5, you know, and this is under D, E, and that's exactly what it says. What we're doing tonight is to meet that fulfillment of the law. Exactly state right. State law. Yes, sir. And not only is it state law, but it's in our charter, too, so I have it here, too. Uh, it's, it's validated by the charter, so uh, I, th I don't think it's nothing new that they don't know the elder council, because prior to our coming, I mean, this should have already been taken care of. You're right. We both had this back in October. Exactly, but due to those not fulfilling what they're supposed to do, which is their obligation of Man's the council. responsibility to do the budget. Exactly, but it's the uh, council, up to the council to vote and support it. So let's move we forward. We had, had one to vote on until uh, now. Exactly. It's simply, <laughs> council, what's you all's take? No, I'm saying for the, the abruption of uh, giggling and carrying on. Well, this is only a presentation. We, we don't have to, but there's no vote can be taken tonight. All this is is just. That's exactly right. So just a formalized presentation. Um, you will notice the numbers is, are the same there. The total revenues for the general fund budget um, 
were a million six hundred thirty thousand eight hundred thirty two, um, and then you know the expenditures a million five hundred thirty two thousand seven hundred, and then transfers out to the library fund and water fund budget uh, that make it a balanced budget. But you're correct. This doesn't require any action from council tonight. Just more or less a presentation, and any co you know comments from council can be made about it. Okay. So. It's Excuse me, this came out in our January 16th meeting. And what I think, y'all wasn't here. You wasn't here at the meeting. And you later found it out. And that was the reason, I guess, for you to be back tonight. So if we had any questions, because it came up, when it should have came up in the meeting, that uh, something was wrong. It should have came up in the meeting, in the January, in the meeting that we had at the call meeting, right. but it didn't. It came up after when you all was not here on the 16th, and so we're just glad that you all came back. And I hope if anybody have any questions, and if we doing if anything's not correct, that they would tell you tonight that this council will let you know tonight. You know if anything that they see any deficiencies. So thank you all. Thank you so much. And also, prior to, uh, before you leave. I, our next step, I see that you said it must be a made a, uh, available budget for Thursday, uh, I'm sorry, until February 5th. Would you elaborate on that too? Sure. Steph? There's a, there's a required time for public review, and uh, rather than do the minimum there, we decided that to go ahead and advertise and have the budget available for public review from now until uh, what is what is currently the scheduled public hearing, uh, which would be this Thursday. So that's open for the constituents to come in. That is, that is correct. Okay. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been last week. Great. And the third step, uh, it says there must be a formal presentation of the general fund. Do you want to elaborate on that? That's what that's what this is. This is just a formal presentation of the general fund and, and library fund budget uh, to council. And so this is this is what was needed to be advertised and, and what was presented tonight. Okay. And the fourth step? Um, I, I believe the other step there would be the public hearing requirement, um, which we've talked a little bit about. It had to be advertised for a week prior to the public hearing. Um, the notice in the paper did schedule the public hearing for this upcoming Thursday afternoon. And it is in the newspaper this week. It, it was in the newspaper this past Thursday. Yeah. That's correct. Great. Thank you so much. Um, and um, so step five? Step five would be the formal adoption of the budget by council. Uh, that. There has to be a, a week in between the public hearing and that adoption date. Uh, the notice that went out set that date for a week from this Thursday. Uh, those dates were based upon the fastest possible time that it could happen. Uh, As required by the state. That, no, well, it's the fastest time that would follow the requirements. Um, but there, were, you know, obviously there's some flexibility there as well. But those, were, that is the absolute fastest schedule uh, to do that. Any questions for the council? So assuming we're ready to go. All right. Thank you. Any further? Y'all have any other questions? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Conley. Thank you. Good job. <coughs> uh, council, the next order of business is the discussion of the city budget. I'm sorry, the city visa card. And I've given you all the information um, from Ms. Francis, and uh, she's given me the uh, stipulations, the requirements that it would take to uh, uh, to complete the card. And I'd like to go with, with you all because this is something that we need to go ahead and take care of. And she says, uh, Dear uh, attention, uh, Mayor Wipaloo, Mayor of the City of Gordon, and it's the credit card application, and uh, she says they would need a copy of the minutes I've highlighted there, where the council has voted to open the credit card account with them, and uh, once more again, are we going to go with the same credit limit that was previous? I have a copy of that attached to your um, information. And what at what limits? And uh, 
the city council will also need to vote and state in the minutes that they wish to cancel or either pay off the account. I know the last time we were here, we didn't have enough money. So now, uh, you know, we all went to the mayor's day and of course, with not having enough money, supposedly, we uh, took care of that, each of us. So we've had the resolution presented by Attorney Boone uh, at the last council meeting that we've already got the credit card for the city of Boone, so uh, presented. So what's you all's take? We need to get this done expeditiously. And I have given you all a copy of the summary so you have an idea of what's on hand or what the balance is at the present time. And if you look over that, here's a copy. You might want to explain that. Mm -hmm. You just asked for that. You what? Asked for it. I, do I didn't look it. over or step because you just had me provide the information to you, so you can explain to them whatever you need because I don't know why you asked for it. Well, I won't. I was just see. honoring your request. Yes, thank you so much. But uh, even to explain the charges that are on here, you can explain that. Well, you I mean, can I can it. tell them. I mean, all it is is uh, right. Back in November, as it was, you know, we took a uh, course training myself and Councilwoman Toes at St. Simon, Georgia. And that was in the amount of $941.37. So we only spent the days that were assigned to us to go. We did not waste the city money, as was uh, printed and told. Okay, in the December 12th, month of December, uh, we have all of, uh, as you see on your is everybody on the same page? Yes, ma'am. Oh, Councilman. Councilman. <coughs> You've got your time. Well, let me just go over and find your visa information. You said that. So we all be on the same page. That way everybody will know. We want to be transparent. <coughs> well, I can tell y'all, the amount that's owed now on visa is $4,546.14, and that's on the terminated credit card. And so we know, we know that that expired uh, December uh, 31st of 2014, so we've got to move forward because we've got June coming up and all the other uh, dates and such, and that you all are scheduled for training. So. Uh, we need to go ahead and take care of that, so we'll uh, <coughs> go ahead and get this clear in a minute. So, what you all take, Council? I was thinking that we uh, we set an amount for that last at the last council. We want sixteen. We did. Right, we did agree, believe that, was, was keep it at that same amount, which was the 10000 and with uh, the resolution being in the mayor's name. So what we've got, you all have got to do is agree to, uh, if you want to continue to remain with uh Pretty much following the past. If you look at that, and I don't see anything that we really need to change, just keep it the way they had it previously. It's my suggestion, but you all are the ones to make the decision. We've got to take care of that tonight. It needs to be. 
man, don't you think we need to pay that whole car off before we, before we need to get that? It's got to be right. done. Right, exactly. That mm -hmm. Right, and that's what we're here for, you all to decide. Great question. I offer a motion that we uh, pay the old credit card off. Second that motion. Motion has been made in second. A discussion? All in favor, roll call. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Pay it off. Still want to would like to keep the card with Magnolia Bank, State Bank. I would. We had no problem. I offer motion that we keep the credit card with Magnolia State Bank. Motion has been made. Do I hear second? Second. Discussion. Motion has been made in second. All in favor, roll call. Uh, 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 the ayes have it. All right, and they want who they want cards assigned to, and what limits? We've already got that the ten thousand limit, so that's already taken care of. All right. So you've already submitted that you stated that you wish to cancel and submit pay off of the account. All right, so that's taken care of. Thank you so much. All right, now we'll move forward to the new business. And our first item up for discussion is close out of the 2012 CDBG checking account. I make a motion that we close the account out. Third. Motion has been made and second to close out the CDB 2012 checking account. <coughs> Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Yeah, it's uh, The next uh, item is the renewal of the copier lease. And we desperately so need to get that squared away, too. Or else we'll be out of business. Uh -oh. so, um, uh, have y'all had a chance to look at it first? <laughs> It's in your packet. Uh, Cliff Brown explained to me today, and uh, she received this today, saying uh, attached is the bottom of this new release from RICO for the city of Gordon. As soon as you get the signature from the mayor, please scan it back to me by email so that I can continue processing this order. And she said, you might want to explain that. Um, I think it's a five-year lease, and the lease payments will be cheaper than they have been. The current lease is $350 a month, and this will go down to, I think it's $260, $278 per month. Uh, there's no upfront cost. We will get a brand-new copier, um, and I think it's another five-year lease on this new one also. The number of copies staying the same, I see it says 3,500 and 500 color, or Actually, 300 colors. I think they've upped it because we have really been going over our limited amount each month. We've been having to pay extra charges for that. And I tell you, it is, it may look, but uh, we have so much paper. I mean, if you go back and look at the minutes, as she said, compared to what you've had in previous years, it's almost the manual, the minute manual has doubled its size. So we have to take in consideration that it's uh, apparently bona fide. So motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Further discussion? Mayor, I'd have some discussion on that. I don't think you can sign as it is. It doesn't comply. 
conform to state law. Pardon? So the lease agreement doesn't completely conform to municipal or state law. Specifically, OCGA 366013, binding future councils. Binding what now? Future councils. Future council. Um, you're talking about those that are coming. That's correct. So, I mean, what is that saying? Binding them to what? <coughs> well, this. Excuse me. I, I would like to hear from the attorney, please, and this not anyone. Specific agreement. <clears throat> There's some things that are, you know, we can work with, but this this provision here specifically about if you terminate any schedule as provided above, which they do give the schedule payments and break out per year, which you can't commit. It needs to be a little bit more specific that this contract terminates at the end of every fiscal year. It has to terminate by law at the end of every fiscal year, and it can be renewed. And it can be renewed automatically unless there's an affirmative action of the council. But this provision about... What page are you on with that? Page. Last page two of two of the actual agreement. Uh, top of the, top of the uh, page is a section that says, the way that the council will do it is to have patches of a specific ordinance or resolution so terminating the schedule, or, you know, that's fine. If, the, if the, the council actually that has to be your decision that you agree with that. But then if you terminate any schedules provided above, you may not purchase, lease, or rent during such fiscal period equipment performing functions similar to those performed by the product for a period of 12 months. Section 18B, that's, that section's got to be stricken because you're, you're binding you could potentially be binding a council in 2020 to that agreement, and that's against state law. In other words, if in 2019 they decided they didn't want that copy anymore, they couldn't get another one for a year. Is that what they explained to you, Clerk? I mean, y'all know. Well, that's why I always send it to them for review. That's why I sent it to them. Have y'all had trouble like this before with the copy? Got, have we, issues like this with contracts with cities because it doesn't always contemplate when you're dealing with a, a municipality that you know, contracts can only bind people indefinitely and they're between private parties or businesses, but here you're dealing with an entity that can only be bound one year at a time, and that's, that's binding the council that has made that decision. You can't okay. bind future councils. What's well, you all's take? Uh, it's up to you all. I make a motion we table this until the uh, lawyer can get the... Uh, Terminology correct so that we'll be legal. Second motion. Motion has been made. Second. Any further discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 CPA. Mr. Miller Edwards, is he here? Okay. Even <coughs> right along. And Council, I just want to say that I've met with him and he's interested and I've asked him to submit his uh, proposal and be it as Ask them rather. He came to represent the firm Miller Edwards of Malden and Jenkins CPA. So I've got uh, an appointment tomorrow. Just want to let you know that another firm will be coming. And uh, as soon as they get the proposals, I'll get them to you all. Moving right along, we have Norfolk Item D, Norfolk Southern usage of the depot for February 12th. Donald Patterson and Chris Fox. Team have requested. So I'd like to take, uh, make you all aware that I think in uh, previous times past that you all approved of them to use the depot. So I just want to bring that to you all's attention. Did you want to continue to allow them to use it or do we want to take a, a vote of the council? So for court discussion. We typically leave that up to the uh, city clerk and assistant clerk to make those schedules out. We don't have a problem with it. We've got a new council. Are y'all with that? Yeah. All right. Next on the agenda is the Georgia City Weeks. Uh, and we know that is for April 19th through the 25th. And I have some um, information. 
information packet here that I received. It's called Destination Downtown. And this is um, on behalf from GMA. Um, they'd like to thank us for our participation in this statewide event. Your participation can help ensure the success of this program, which is now in its 16th year, and enclose the materials you may find helpful as you plan for your celebration. These materials are simply meant as a guide. You may vary or alter the activities to create a celebration of city government that is uniquely yours. They encourage us to participate in any way our city can even if it's as simple as adopting the resolution recognizing Georgia City's Week. This year, the kit also includes information on the 25th anniversary of the Americans with Disability Act, ADA. They would encourage us to consider incorporating some recognition of the civil rights milestone into our Georgia City's Week activities. Links and ideas are provided under activities. In addition, there is information on joining GMA's Active Georgia online team competition. And they say our city would probably want to compete to win prizes for the community, while individuals earn points that earn them individual rewards. Please consider joining that effort as well as hosting an event during Georgia Cities Week. Also, the generic word search can be modified to be specific to your city. If you would like to have a city-specific word search, please contact Amy Henderson at GMA and she will customize this for you. You may reach Amy and they have the toll-free number. And Amy will also provide additional posters, stickers, and the logo for reproducing if you need them. Thank you again for your participation in Georgia Cities Week. And that's Savannah Mayor Edna Jackson, Chair of Georgia Cities Week. And um, I have the information here. But if you all would like to look at it and, and be a part of it, I know you all have in the past. So this will be placed in the City Hall during that time. That way you all And while we're on Georgia Cities Week, I'd just like to note that with the, at the Georgia Mayor's um, Conference, Councilman Smallwood received how many years? Hours of service and attendance. Uh, how many names I mean? Right. I think I can't even think right now. That's 200. 204. No, it's 204 for that, but I have to run on the page. I don't know exactly how many more I've taken inside of those two. Andy, he was honored at that event. It was well uh, worth it and seeing you, you know, on stage. And, and I think each and every one of us have got something. I know I did from the ethics training. And uh, it was a very good uh, conference and one of the better ones that I've attended. So we just like to say that um, congratulations. Uh, no further business. With new business, I'd like to go ahead and we go into uh, the committee reports. And we'll start with the police. I don't have anything, but you call us back there. You may have something. You have anything? Everything's in good. Okay. And that foot is healing well. That's good. Fire, council meeting. Everything's going well. Wow, thanks. Streets. Uh, the streets, uh, everything's about the same. Um, Mr. Lawrence and myself, we were supposed to go ride around on the streets. I didn't have a chance to do that yet, but uh, we was talking about it today and we're going to try to get it done this week. I'd like to add to my street, um, 
Well, they come and fill my potholes with uh, red, I guess. Uh, and you know, I don't know a lot about streets except they tell me that in the wintertime it gets what? Cold and the cement, or what is it that breaks up? But uh, we uh, travelers on Westbrook Road, it needs to be Mr. Uh, Superintendent. Uh, I rode by there today and then. Would you come forward because of it's, you know, some is, is leaving the mud, I guess what it is. Uh, <laughs> we we look put back that uh, temporary. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing asphalt uh, depending on the weather, uh, hopefully tomorrow and uh, Wednesday uh, to try to get most of the uh, holes or patches that we need to get done this week. Sanitation Finance Liaison. <coughs> Council, do you all have anything else for the discussion? I don't have anything. Else. No, I don't. I will. Citizens? Yes, please. Excuse me. Would you please state your name? Um, I'm Imani Davis. Um, I'm from Gordon. I grew up in Gordon. The last meeting was my first meeting, and every concern sitting consistent as my opinion. I just want to say the last meeting was very disappointing to me as a citizen of Gordon. It was very ignorant to me, and I feel like that's probably why no one wants to patronize our city. And growing up in Gordon, you know, we have a lot of things that I see that Gordon can do be a lot better in. And instead of us coming to the meetings, basically coming from personal attitudes toward anyone, making them being worse than making it better, I feel like we should do what's best for Gordon. And you know, a lot of people may not like the mayor, they may not like some of the councilmen, but we're not going to get Gordon better if we don't respect our councilmen and our mayor. And that was just my opinion. You may resume. Uh, um, that's just my opinion. You know, I, like, I would like to learn to have a lot of things that other cities don't have. We don't have a recreation center for the kids. We don't have a lot of businesses. We don't have anything for people to know about Gordon. But now when people hear about Gordon, it's really embarrassing. It's another way I'm proud to say I'm from the city of Gordon. So my opinion is that I really hope that this year we do very well. We bring a lot of businesses. We bring a lot of things to the city of Gordon and come together as one instead of not getting along and making things better instead of making things work. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much. Anyone else? State your name, please. Donald Anderson. I got a question first. I heard about the the water treatment plant. Question to the point. Is that a water safety plant? They park out of water. Now see, that's what she just was talking about. And I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the owner. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Anderson has the floor. Council, what's your take? Will we have talking out of order? Will we have Mr. Lawrence? He's out. No, I'm, yes. Okay. But I'm saying I was addressing the council, not an individual. Okay. okay. I wasn't. Now, Mr. Lawrence. May I try to answer? Not a word. Yes, Thank you, Just, Mr. Eden. Sure. Mr. Anderson, uh, we test our water, you know, to the state law, exactly what it tells us by the EPD, you know, exactly what we're supposed to do, you know, and we send those samples off every month. They test them at a facility, I think it's in Macon, don't, don't quote me on that, I think we use a facility out of Macon, it was a lab testing, you know, facility. They test all of our samples and they send us back, 
the results of it and everything, and we get good results back on all of our water. Now, when the EPD came down, I think someone called them and got them to come down and, and look around and everything, and they did find some uh, things that they didn't like, what they saw. Leaks, you know, water leaks around some of the pumps and one of our tanks. We have uh, two aeration tanks out of our main well, number three well, on the old Milledgeville Road. That's our main water supply for the city of Gordon. That's where we get most of our water from. Several years ago, we found out that our water that comes out of the ground in all of this aquifer all the way around is a very low pH. It's like 3.6, 3.8 coming out of the ground. They found out that one of the causes for it has got a carbon dioxide in the water. So what they recommended we do was put aeration tanks in and we put a fan and a stirrer and it actually bubbles that water and it gets the carbon dioxide out. We put two big uh, cement holding tanks in, and they have two halves when they put, I, I'm going to try to give you, you know, what, what's going on. Yes. They put them together, and they got pipes coming out, and everything. Over the years, those tanks continued to leak on a regular basis, you know. And they didn't like that because that you're losing, you know, your water and, and chemicals and everything from that. Uh, about two years ago, maybe three years ago, we had a group that came in and looked at our tanks, they put what they call a bladder inside that tank. It's like a high-density vinyl propylene-type liner that they put in it to seal it up. When they put that liner in, it did pretty much stop the leak, but they didn't cut all the uh, outlets and inlet pipe in it at the time, and we didn't know it for a, a good while. As we were adding the chemical and things, it started getting in between that liner and it kind of separated that liner from the tank. So we almost back to where we were at, you know. And we just found that out, you know, recently, you know, that that was one of the causes for that. Now they gave Melvin, and we've seen it, I'll say if I've seen the list that they gave us that needs to be corrected. So. As we move into that stage of correcting all of those things, I think the EPD, the EPD would come back and give us a recommendation that, you know, we've corrected them. But the water itself is, in, is, is fine. We do check it on a regular basis. They tell us how many samples we have to send off, and we pick them randomly at different places so that that water is safe. Yes, sir? Oh, Appreciate that. Best Appreciate I can answer your question. You did very well. Thank you, sir. Next, next thing I want to say. The street lights, actually the one right in front of my house, it was flickering, and now for the last month it's been out. I have reported it, but yes, sir. it's still out. It's dark. Okay. And the next thing I want, this is just a comment. This is, well, let me just say this. I moved to Gordon about 15, 17 years ago in 1997. And I, 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 I just want to say this. I moved here because I like the peace and the quiet. But I just want to say this now. I don't like people stirring up stuff and talking to me when I don't talk to them. I speak, and in this setting here, I'm going to be decent and normal. <coughs> but if I don't comment to you, don't throw things at me because you might not want to get started. We don't want to get started. We're here for conducting city business. And some things that we start. Is that a threat? Yes. That sounds like a threat. Some things that we start. Excuse me. Count up. Are you the office in charge tonight or who's in charge? Yes, ma'am. Because I. Counselor, you finish your, finish what's your boss tape? No, no, she, she's in charge. Right. I, I got right. this. She's in charge. And I, I'll say again. What I'm trying to say again is that it's all about peace and harmony. This is my first meeting, and I don't need citizens picking at me when I'm trying to address the council. Now, like I said again, sometimes if you start something, it's hard to turn off. I didn't come here to start nothing with anybody. Now, I just want to say that. Now, I want to say this too. I am also an honorably, an honorably Discharged, disabled veterans. I know how to start and turn it off. 
I don't want to go there. Who don't want to go there? This is love. This is our home. This is where we supposed to get along. So what I'm just trying to say, I don't know what, this, this is my first time now. Here, but I, I don't do that picking stuff. I don't play that picking. I don't teach my kids and my grandkids the pick. If I got the floor, then let me talk. I didn't say anything, sit here. That's the way the process is made. I don't have to like you, and you don't have to like me, but this is this is the way that the, the democratic process. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Adams. Yes, sir, Mr. Go ahead. Well, I am also an honorably discharged veteran, <coughs> and oh, I, I'm going to just say <coughs> I'm glad you're coming, and I'm glad you're coming. But we've all been to every meeting, and that's a two-way street. You have to give respect to get it. There's been many times that we do not give respect, and we're talked to like we're dogs, and that's not, it doesn't go both ways. But I hope y'all keep coming, because if you come to everyone, you'll see what everybody's talking about. It's not just the citizens that are here. You'll find out for yourself. Mayor, I have a question. Mayor, I have a question. Uh, I just want to know when you opened me, the council meetings to public me. comments. Let me say this, uh, journalist Bailey. I've been entertained tonight. And we've heard... The two people you wanted to hear. No, I didn't Thank have you. no idea. Excuse me, I'm not going to address that, but is there, be, is there any further discussion? Thank you, Judy Chabelle. She's, uh, counsel, will you all continue to allow, uh, Ms. Robinson to talk out of order? She sat here the entire night. I not said a word. I've been recording, honey. I can Excuse prove Excuse me. It. Let me I make a motion. Go ahead. We adjourn the meeting. Motion to adjourn. And second.